Well, SmackDown 1000 was bloody brilliant, wasn't it? It had everything. The McMahons being self-indulgent, the return of my best friend Rey Mysterio, The Undertaker, and, of course, a Big Show heel turn. It was my favourite bit of nostalgia on the show. In a near 20-year WWE career, the big man is not best known for being a dominant champion, or that time he wore a nappy at WrestleMania 21, or even that time he boogie-boarded on his dead dad's casket. No, Big Show is most famous for being a guy who can't stay good or bad for more than five minutes. Do you know how many times Big Show has turned heel or face in WWE? 31. 31! That is more times than years I've been alive. No wonder we can't bloody keep up. Anyway, I drew this short straw in the office, so I'm Adam Wilborn from What Culture, and come with me on a journey as we go through every single big show heel and babyface turn in WWE since his 1999 debut. Number one, debutante gone bad. St. Valentine's Day Massacre, where it all began. Michael Cole shouting, King, that's Paul White. And then probably thinking, didn't he have a monster truck fight with Hulk Hogan in? Number two, leaving the corporation. Just over a month later, he chins the boss. Hey, he's a goodie now. Number three, big and dead. Oh, no, actually, by the summer of 1999, he's gone bad again and is tagging with The Undertaker because they're tall. Number four, big and dead dad. Yeah, you kind of have to cheer for the bloke when the person he's up against gate crashes his dad's funeral and has off with the box that he's in whilst he's still warm. Number five, one on one with the great one. Somebody got a haircut. Big Show turns heel on the rock and gets compared to Freddie Mercury by Triple H. I can see it. Number six, Big bad banter. <laughs> What's he like, eh? Number seven, the conspiracy. Number eight, returning babyface. At the 2001 Royal Rumble, he's back and he's lost all that weight. You know what, that's, that's not fair. I'll tell you what, I'll go off, make a cup of tea, think of something nice to say, and then come back again. Number nine, returning heel. Right, where were we? Oh, for God's sake, he's already turned heel and attacked The Rock. Give me a chance. Number 10, Team WWF. Hey, who remembers the Shoguns? Anyone? Number 11, New World Order. Uh, well, creative have got nothing for you, mate, but uh, I don't know. Do you fancy being in a knockoff version of the NWO? What could possibly go wrong there? Oh, yeah, everything. Number 12, returning babyface. Number two. I mean... Fair play, after two years on the same side of the fence, Big Show returns from injury in 2004 as a good guy and gets shot by Kurt Angle with a tranquilizer gun. Is this okay? Number 13, battling Batista. Another look at the bloody side of them pairing, Big Show and Kane were initially babyface before they attacked Batista ahead of Survivor Series. <laughs> Number 14, playing the game. After going full bastard against Batista, Show becomes a babyface, so Triple H has someone to face in the build towards Mania. Trips calls him a fat boy, breaks his hand, and beats him. Number 15, extreme measures. He signs with ECW and becomes Paul Heyman's hired gun. Jesus, we're not even halfway yet. Number 16, returning babyface, number three. Right, after over a year off, Big Show returns all smiles at No Way Out and a fair bit slimmer than when we saw him last. Hooray! Number 17, Ray Rampage. Oh, no, sorry, he's not been back for more than five minutes and he's already turned heel again, attacking poor little Ray Mysterio. Until number 18, beating the boxer. He almost immediately becomes a babyface again because it turns out no one likes Floyd Mayweather. Who knew? Number 19, Vicky's big surprise. Vicky Guerrero gets big show in in order to eliminate Taker from WWE. Oh God, I've just remembered their kiss. Oh. Mm. Number 20, the Jerry Show Rift. Hey, who remembers bragging rights? Anyone? No, well, if you're on a team with late noughties DX, you're a good guy now. Number 21, the Jerish Show Twist. Oh, 
No, you're not. Big Show turns on Kofi Kingston to hand Team Smackdown the highly sought after bragging rights trophy. Number 22, that show business. Even WWE got bored of showing all of Big Show's turns. He chins Miz during the adverts and is a baby face again. Number 23, returning heel, number two. I will never get the time back that I spent watching John Cena and John Laurinaitis at Over The Limit 2012. Never. Regardless, after being fired on TV and bawling his eyes out, knocking out John Cena gets Big Show's job back. If only it was that simple, eh? Number 24, rising up against the Shield. Right, we need a team to feed to the Shield at WrestleMania 29. How about Orton, that ginger bloke, and literally anyone big? And put him in camo. Number 25, walking out against the Shield. Surprise, surprise, Orton, Sheamus, and Show lose to the Shield at WrestleMania, so he chins them both and buggers off. Number 26, rising up against the Shield, number two. <laughs> Who needs Daniel Bryan when you got this guy, eh? Yes, yes, no. Number 27, the authority. A year later at Survivor Series 2014, Big Show decides if you can't beat him, join him. Knocks out John Cena and joins Triple H and that she-devil. Number 28, Family business. Ah, oh, nearly there. Big Show turns face and fights the Wyatt family because who oh, cares? Number 29, House Show Heel. So you need someone to be a heel and make Brock Lesnar look like an unstoppable beast in Madison Square Garden? Have oh, I got a guy for you? Number 30, Prize Fighter. This time, Big Show is a hired gun for Kevin Owens, but ends up turning on him. Yeah, probably should have seen that one coming, mate. And finally, number 31, a new day. The Big Show turns heel on the thousandth edition of SmackDown by choke slamming Kofi Kingston through a table and siding with the bar as they dethrone the new day. I give it a month. And that's our list. What was your favorite Big Show turn? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And you can check out some more of our recent videos here. Thanks for watching. I've been Adam from What Culture. And please, Big Show, don't hurt me. See you soon.